Nice Sunday morning, neighbors. I got some music going on in the background, so you can't hear for copyright. Interim storage, nuclear weapons, and beards. <laughs> anyway, hope you can hear this. I'll check it before I post. But interim storage. This is the proposal. This is the proposition from the nuclear industry on what to do with uh, commercial nuclear waste. This idea of interim storage, not an idea, it's a, going to be a fact, is these storage bunkers for <laughs> the materials we've accumulated at nuclear plants in America. Thousands of casts of nuclear materials, very dangerous. If not handled properly, meaning generations of monitoring, looking at these things, being aware that they're there and being able to respond if something goes wrong. So yeah, interim storage. The way this is being proposed is there are good paychecks to be had. And we're gonna come put casks, large round cylinders, acres of them, Maybe above ground, because that's easy. Maybe below ground, because it's a little bit safer. And we're gonna let the neighborhood worry about that. The acceptance of that idea, that interim storage proposition, puts you in what's called a sacrifice zone. Another term you should be familiar with and how pollution can work for or against us. The notion of a sacrifice zone, so. These are nuclear materials. Some of the most dangerous zone to mankind. They can contaminate water supplies. They can make the dust in the air and on your countertops hazardous. They can lead to something that might not show up until the next generation arrives to sample this stuff. And we quickly forget. So interim storage, storing these casks, what's it supposed to be? Well, Oregon has an interim storage facility. We've had it for decades now. Because a nuclear facility being built just west of Portland got canceled. Another one, just north of Portland, Washington State, got canceled, but it did not have fuel delivered for it to operate. The one in Oregon did. So from that, there are somewhere around a dozen casks stored just west of Portland. Interim storage. We already accepted it. We don't have a choice. When those facilities are shut down, they go from active storage to interim storage. It's what this whole tech company is doing. They're moving casks, filling casks, setting them outside to dry and cook and bake and make sure that they're something. So that's interim storage. Just letting waste sit in your neighborhood waiting for. Latest large industrial nuclear accidents show we haven't got great methods for cleaning, for maintaining, for uh, isolating these materials when something goes wrong. The WIP facility is some evidence if you'd like a little bit of it. Fukushima is more evidence. The robots weren't ready. They still aren't ready. They may never be ready due to the nature of the circumstances. So this interim storage thing is coming across the country. They are looking for a neighborhood needing some good paychecks to come in the neighborhood to help revitalize it. There are already sacrifice zones, maybe abandoned by a mining company or other interests that work there. So interim storage should be talked about, should be discussed, and in today's noise, settled, settled law, agreed upon by the medical professionals to have helped improve our lives over generations. So what? So this nuclear waste storage should bring education.
to a community about what's around them, how it works. Nuclear materials, the most complicated materials that man is coming for us. They change equations. Does it matter? So understanding this idea, this concept, the sales pitch going on. So the question is, where is this sales going on? And that can be a secret. It won't be exposed until the decision is made. Because of competition, competition from corporate interests. They don't want to be outbid or underbid or realistically bid. A community that's going to accept those materials has the right to the knowledge about them. Has a right to have, say, the fire departments properly trained and staffed and with the right equipment to handle an emergency. Above ground storage, what happens if a satellite crashes? What happens if a plane crashes? What happens if a bus crashes? What happens if a nut job crashes there? <laughs> Atheist joke. Is this Noah? <laughs> Peace is out. Enjoy nature. That's all we got.